Lepoj je tukaj, lepa je Slovenija. Dobar večer, dame in gospodje. Smo na izviru vsebnega desetletja skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč. Sem živa in nosim ime po živi vodi. Welcome to the beautiful Slovenia. There are healthy waters, mountains and fields as described in an old folk song which opened the celebration of the 60 years of Slovenian's past association. Lep dobro rečer ministru za gospodarski razvoj in tehnologijo, gospodo Zdravko Počevavšku, direktorici direktorata za turizem, gospi Renati Martinčič, direktorici slovenske turistične organizacije, magistri Maj Pak, članom skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč, predavateljem en spa konference in odeležen sem spa konference, vsem vam, cenjeni gostje. We are honored to welcome Minister of Economical Development and Technology, Mr. Zdravko Počivalšek, Director of Directorate of Tourism, Ms. Renata Martinčič, General Director of the Slovenian Tourist Board, Ms. Maja Pak, and SPA and Space Conference Delegates. My name is Živa, which means lively in Slovenian, and I owe this name to the lively water. But, <laughs> 2000 vodnih izvirov imamo in dve morji, Mediteransko na zahodu in Panonsko, tukaj na vzhodu, kjer bo ljubim šenica, kot pripovetuje pomorski ljudski napev v izjedbi vokalist Tjaša Šimonka in Damjane Žarik, ob smojavi kitarista Davida Kreslina. Water is the source of life and in Slovenia everything bursts with energy. According to the folk song that was just performed, there are 2,000 springs and two seas in Slovenia, the Mediterranean Sea in the west and the Pannonian Sea right here, where the wind waves and the water is hidden deep under the ground. Na odr vadi ministra za gospodarski razvoj in tehnologija gospoda Zdravka Počivavška da otvori nocojšno sloveznost. Please welcome Minister for Economic Development and Technology, Mr. Zdravko Počivavšek. Please. Spoštovani odeleženci in pa organizacije Evropske konference naravnih zdravilišč, spoštovani gostje, posebe iz Tujine, Vsem skupaj lep pozdrav, čestitam skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč za 60. obletnico. Moram povedati, da sem z izrednim veseljem sprejel povabilo za častno pokoroviteljstvo vaše konference ENSPA 2017. In verjamem, da je bilo leto 1957 izredno leto, ko smo začeli z tako pomembno organizacijo, pa moralo je biti pomembno leto, ker bom tudi jaz v nekaj dneh toliko mlad, kot ste vi stari. Moram povedati, da ocenjujem, da je bil ta začetek v 50-ih letih namenjen predvsem organiziranju slovenskih naravnih zdravlišč v tem kontekstu, da smo se, da ste se začeli tržno ukvarjati z kurativno zdravstveno dejavnostjo. Razvoj je šel dalje preko preventive, pa če rečem, da smo na 50-letnici, ki se je spolnim, bili že globoko v wellnessu, da smo zdaj globoko v dobrem počutju v selfnesu. To so pač koraki, ki jih je v teh 60-ih letih skupno slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč prehodila iz tistega čisto državnega odnosa do tega dela se je v veliki meri postavila ne samo skupnost, ampak tudi vsi vi člani na trg, na konc koncu ustvarjate vsi člani skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč, skoraj ali pa nekaj več kot eno tretjino vseh nočitev, nekaj manj kot 40 procentov, če gledamo to v nekem širšem smislu vsega prometa, ste na konc koncov 
pa jaz bi rad naj rekel, smo na konc koncu najpomembnejši steber slovenskega turizma in k tem dobrim rezultatom vam v vsakem primeru čestitam. Seveda pa vrjamem, da je pred vami kar nekaj pomembnih izzivov. Čez sem kot predsednik skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravljišč na 50. obletnici govoril o potrebi internacionalizacije našega pristopa v kontekstu večje povezave s tujino na področju zdravstvenih zavarovanj. Vrjamem, da je pred nami, pred vami danes kar nekaj pomembnih izzivov, izzivov, ki izvirajo iz naslove koncentracije lasništva v slovenskih naravnih zdraviliščih in iz tega posledično problemov, ki nastajajo v delovanju in pa funkcioniranju same skupnosti. Tukaj jaz mislim, da je en pomembno izziv, ki se bo na nek način zaključil s tem, ko se bo v večji meri izvršila tudi privatizacija slovenskih naravnih zdraviliščih iz tega nek način mesnega obdobja. In na drugi strani, jaz mislim, da je pred vsemi vami še večji pritisk na internacionalizacijo na tem tržnem delu s končnimi kupci in pa tudi na tržnem delu z zdravstvenimi zavarovalnicami, kajti verjamem, da se evropski prostor tudi na tem področju mora bolj poenotiti korak po korak. Tukaj je veliko mej, barijer, ampak verjamem, da se ta svobodna izmenjava v vedno večji meri približuje tudi na tem področju. Jaz vam še enkrat čestitam ob tej obletnici. Želim, da boste uspešni tudi v bodoče, verjamem, da boste izkoristili vse razvojne možnosti, ki jih nudi naša država tudi skozi novo strategijo trajnostnega razvoja slovenskega turizma 2017-2021 in želim si, da bo takaj v drugačni obliki lahko prisotno tudi na naslednji vaši okrogli obletnici. Najlepša hvala. Hvala, 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 hvala. Izvolite na odrbavi direktorja skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravlišč, gospoda Istoka Adbavarja. Spoštovani gospod Zdravko Počegavšek, minister za gospodarski razvoj in tehnologijo, draga Maja Pak, direktorica Slovenske turistične organizacije, spoštovana Renata Martinčič iz direktorata za turizem na ministerstvu, Dragi partneri, gostje in kolegi, danes jutraj ob otvoritvi Evropske konference za ravni zdravišč in DNS sem dejal, da je danes prav poseben dan. Sedaj pa lahko rečem, da je danes izjemen dan. Zakaj je tako izjemen? Pa mi dovolite, da povem v angliščini, ki je tudi uradi jezik konference. Your Excellency, Minister Zdravko Počevalšek, Mr. Zdravko Počevalšek, Minister for Economic Development and Technology, dear Maja Pak, Director of the Slovenian Tourist Board, dear Renata Martinčič, distinguished partners and guests. This morning, at the opening speech of the European Natural Spas and Wellness Conference 2017, I said that this day is a very special day, but now I can say that this day is an exceptional day. First of all, because with us is the Minister, Zdravko Počevalša. Secondly, we are celebrating 60 years of work with a very successful conference, AIMSPA, and we will continue to celebrate also tomorrow with our B2B workshop, SPAS in Central Europe in Termem Tui. Let me welcome also on this occasion all the participants who came from Termaspa Tuktui to join us here and who will be working as we were working today very much tomorrow. The conference ENSPA today brought many very, very interesting speeches, very important partners that were coming to Slovenia to price 
the position, the name, the label of 15 health and spa resorts behind them that I am standing here. And as uh, Mr. Uh, Pochibaros, the minister said, uh, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary, the idea at that time was to de uh, develop uh, also the wellness industry. We are now very much in this wellness industry involved. But uh, I have to say something also that I would not be standing here if nine years ago, minister at that time, president of the board of the directors and one of the very uh, successful directors of one of the spas would not accept me and uh, here I am as a director of the Slovenian Spa Association. We are, the, we are at the fountain of the seventh decade of work of the Slovenian Spa Association. A wonderful number, 60 years of hard work I have to say. And 60 and 60, these are wonderful, even I would say miracle numbers. But this Slovenian Spa Association is also the umbrella organization for the 15 key stakeholders of thermal and spa tourism, spreading as a necklace from the Pannonian Plain to Pohore Hills, across central Slovenia, and from the Lenska vineyards to the Mediterranean Sea. Slovenia is indeed the land of healthy waters, where nature, tradition, and knowledge are working hard, working hand in hand to create signature treatments and therapies. Healing natural um, remedies combined with well-qualified medical teams of doctors offer the best in health, prevention, wellness, and water experiences. The natural richness of our mineral drinking water and, and bathing water, peloids, peat, brine, salt map, and aerosols is the source of progress and knowledge. Slovenia is where a century of tradition meets innovative medical spa treatments. The Slovenian natural spas, with one third of all Slovenian overnights, are the flagship uh, tourism product of Slovenia, and some of the spa and medical centers of Slovenia are among the best in Europe and the world. But this is also the story of healthy waters of Slovenia. It reveals the secrets of the underworld, more than 1,000 meters below the ground, where springs of healing, uh, healing mineral and thermal waters start its course. This is also the story about whispers, about the healing power of active ions in the sea breeze and aerosols in the mountainous regions. The story of Slovenian natural spas was presented in many parts of the world and always received great admiration. Our promotional activities, often in, uh, the, often in cooperation with the Slovenian Tourist Board, strengthened the reputation of the spas and also our association to become trustworthy partner around the globe. In the future, Many challenges, as the minister says, many opportunities will arise and we have to take advantage of them as a part of one of the strongest tourism and travel industries in the world. With innovative approach, striving to achieve five stars experiences in our programs dedicated to health, promotion, awareness and water parks, we can target the most demanding guests and patients. In the seventh decade, I wish more of best practice sharing, like with this the whole day today at this ANSPA conference, more meetings with important partners, events and common rituals that will strengthen our connections and root us in our Slovenian and global family, committed to health, well-being and care towards each other. Let the Slovenian Natural Spas be a lighthouse to all of us for the next decades. Thank you very much. What a beautiful celebration speech, Clara. At the end of the speech, we will remember Professor Dr. Herbert Zaversnik, specialist of internal medicine and gastroenterology, and a great humanist 
who was the chief doctor in Dragashka Medical Center from 1969 to 1988. He was born in Graz, not far from here, and studied medicine in Belgrade. He completed his specialization at Ljubljana University and continued his specialist studies in London. In Rogashka, he set the foundations and standards of medical healthcare and rehabilitation. He also started to, de to develop diagnostic of gastroenterological diseases. Professor Dr. Herbert Zaveshnik was an enthusiastic ambassador and promoter of thermalism and healthcare in Slovenian spas at home and abroad. With his professional attitude and a broad network of connections with teams of doctors in Slovenian hospitals, he gained a lot of respect and trust. His heritage is incomparable to any other in Slovenian spas, also in the field of research, analysis and constant professional and methodological progress. The World Life Excellence Award praises the work of Professor Dr. Herbert Zavarsnik's achievements in the area of world life by recognition of his contributions and heritage of Professor Dr. Jože Zavarsnik. I invite to the stage his daughter Jasna Zavarsnik and his granddaughter Sara Kosic. In this very moment, Slovenia is the epicenter of the global spa and wellness flow. Putujmo stokom znanja in napitka. Let's go with the flow.
Kakšen je utrik slovenskih naravnih zdravilišč po 60-ih letih združevanja, promocije in izmenjave znanj? V eni besedi, vitalen. Tako kot naveza Bere in Aljaža, ki sta okrepila ljubezen in zdravje, z veliko vaje v Akrojogi. What's the heartbeat of Slovenia Natural Spas after 60 years of associated activities? In short, as vital as ever. We can compare it to the pace of Vera in Aljaž who strengthened their love and health with the help of many practice of Akro Yoga. The flow of knowledge and experience is crucial. Slovenian natural spas are no exception. Najlepše pri termalnih in mineralnih vodah Slovenije je, da so blagodajne za vse čute. Lahko jih okušamo in inhaliramo, se zavijamo v njihove obloge in se namakamo v toplih kopeh. Eno od zdravih voda Slovenije ima največ osebnost magnezija na svetu, druga pa teče s tremi srci, saj so podzemni škratje morali imeti več kot eno srce, da so jo lahko spravili na planu. To je Radenska prvo uradna voda Dunajskega dvora in Vatikana v 19. stoletju. Njeni zvir je prav pred uradnih hotela radi. The biggest magic when it comes to the thermal and mineral waters of Slovenia is that they are beneficial to all senses. You can taste or inhale them, relax in their fungal breaths and take a bath. One of the healthy waters of Slovenia, called Donut, has the highest magnesium content in the world. And another one, Radanska, has three hearts and trillions of minerals. A legend says that dwarfs made an enormous effort to push it to the surface. No other one in Schenkrat, Director of Skupnosti Slovenskih Naravnih Zdravilišč, Gospoda Istoka Al Baurja, ki bo podelil častno priznanje Ministru Republike Slovenije za gospodarski razvoj in tehnologijo, Mr. Istok Alba, Director of the Slovenian Spas Association, grants the honorably award to the Minister of Economic Development and Technology, Mr. Zdravko Kočivavšek, for his decisive contribution to flourishment of the Slovenian tourism. Gospod Zdravko Počivavšek je takoj po prevzemu mandata za ministra za gospodarski razvoj in tehnologije v začetku decembra 2014 pričel z aktivnostmi za ponovno osmosvojito slovenske turistične organizacije in si močno prizadeval povečati sredstva za promocijo. Oboje mu je po odločnih in konkretnih okrepih na vladnem nivoju tudi uspelo. Mr. Dalko Počevalšek is also working hard to improve the position of Slovenian natural spas in order to be treated equally from economical and development point of view in tourism and hospitality sector. So, would you please join us to do this thing? were and still are inspired by nature to build centuries-long tradition. The natural richness of Slovenian healthy waters is the source of progress and knowledge in Slovenian natural spas. Top quality signature treatments, unique in Europe and throughout the world, present one of the most important tourism products in Slovenia. The Slovenian Spas Association is the oldest and one of the strongest product associations in Slovenian tourism, but also a trendsetter, an integrator, promoter and developer of business and marketing spa platform. The Slovenian Spas Association has been one of the key and traditionally important partners of Slovenian Tourism Board and Slovenian Tourism for over 20 years. Now I would like to welcome Ms. Maja Pak, the director of Slovenian Tourism Board, to join me on the stage and award Slovenian Spa Associations. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm very 
honored tonight and happy to address you on the occasion of 60 year anniversary of the Slovenian Spa Association. The cooperation between Slovenian Juries Board and Slovenian Spa Association has always been very, very close and very fruitful. Together, we place Slovenia on the global map as a green, active and healthy destination for five-star experiences. I strongly believe that our partnership has made Slovenia one of the most attractive European spa destinations. So let me extend my warm congratulations to Slovenian Spa Association on this occasion and in recognition of their impressive work present the Slovenian Tourist Board Special Award to Director Mr. Kistok Albauer. Iskrene čestitke istok tebi in vsem članicam skupnosti in veselim se nadaljnega sodelovanja. and Ms. Maya Park, we wish you to continue the fruitful partnership of Slovenia Spa Association and Slovenian Tourism Board. Our great musicians, Culture Association, Bele Tinke, pianist Dan Berdin and guitar player David Kreslin help us celebrate 60 years of the Slovenian Natural Spa Association. So let's go for an energetic trip to find some water all around Slovenia. Dame in gospodje, praznovanje 60. obletnice skupnosti slovenskih naravnih zdravišč se bliža v Hunsu s pomočjo vokalist kulturno-umetničkega društva Beletine, pijanista Dejana Berdena in kitarista Davida Kreslina. Gremo na izlet med panonskimi ravnicami, da se osvežimo z vodo.
The vivacious energy of nature and its healthy waters recharge Slovenia. I wish you to feel this energy every day. Slovenian health resorts and natural spas are ranked among top in Europe and worldwide. Do not forget to enjoy their baths, inhaling treatments or drink whenever you can. Živa narava i zdrave vode polnijo Slovenijo z energijo. Želim vam, da bi jo začutili vsak dan. Slovenska narava zdravlišča so namreč v samem vrhu evropske in svetovne ponudbe in lahko smo ponosni na to. They say it is love and water that connect all the beauties of Slovenia, from the Alps to the Mediterranean and from the cars to here where the Pannonian plain spreads. Živa voda je dala ime živi, staroslovanski bogini ljubezni, ki je imela tempel sredi vode na Blejskem otoku. Pravijo, da pravo ljubezen in voda povezujeta lepote Slovenije od Alp do Mediterana in od Krasa do Tukaj, kjer se je nekoč razprostiralo Panonsko morje. Dame in gospodje, vabimo vas, da začutite okuse Panonije in Slovenije na gala večeri. Taste Panonija and Slovenija at gala dinner. Thank you and bon appetit.